today's project's already in a fairly advanced stage of being forged. That is because I did not have video running. This was actually cut from a piece of half inch uh, steel plate. This is clearly not half inch steel plate. That's about quarter inch and it's diamond plate, which this was not. Uh, but this was cut from a half inch of steel plate that looked very much like this, okay? So what I did is I drew an outline that more or less matched this hatchet that you see here. Uh, I drew that outline on the piece of steel plate and then I got to work cutting with a grinder because I do not have a bandsaw, I don't have a plasma cutter or anything like that. So I just got to work with a grinder, which took a long time with half inch steel plate, as you can imagine. But I got things cut out and shaped a little bit with the grinder, uh, threw it in the forge, and I um, sort of hammered it out and shaped it to the shape that you see now. Uh, what you see here is not, <laughs> this is no part of, the, uh, of what's going to be the finished hatchet. Um, let me see if I could make sure that I get in close on there so you can see what this is. What I did is I welded a piece, this is a piece of scrap, uh, that I welded onto the back of this so that, this is probably pretty obvious, but I'll explain it anyway, uh, so that I can work back here if the end is hot and I'm, I'm forging, I can hang on back here. Now, you might wonder why I wouldn't just use a pair of tongs, and let me see if my tongs are around so I can show you. Since you asked, this is why I'm not just using a pair of tongs. This was my first, I think maybe my first real blacksmithing project was making a set of tongs from rebar, which I may do in another video. Um, there are things about the way I did it which worked very well, and there's obviously one big glaring defect, uh, which is that I did not use a very strong material for my rivet. But this is easier, and I have a welder. So, I just weld a piece of steel on there, get to work, cut it off when I'm done. All right, time to get to work. It's just about ready to go. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so one thing I realized working on this is there's just too much material here. And <clears throat> doing this with the grinder is, let's just say it's gonna take forever. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna return it to heat. I am going to get it up the forging temperature and I'm gonna forge that bevel much more thoroughly than I did before.
Thanks for joining me today. Uh, there is the hatchet, more or less, as it will appear when it's finished. have a little bit more work to do on the handle. Uh, I have some ideas for that, but I'm going to be... I'm going to be pretty busy tomorrow. It'll probably be the next day uh, before I get a chance to get that done, and hopefully that day or the day after I'll get it up. So look, sometime in the next three days, I should have another video, and I will be showcasing the hatchet with hopefully a little bit better edge on it. This is really rough. I mean, I just used the grinder uh, today. Um, so hopefully a little bit better edge on there, and then... I don't know. I need to do a little bit more work in the grip area. I'll probably draw that out a little further so there'll be a little bit more forging left to do and then probably some type of wrap. So thanks again for joining me. Uh, by all means, hit like and subscribe if you liked what you saw. Uh, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, other than that, I guess I will see you next time. Thanks again. This is what we're working on today. And my son behind me is half chimpanzee. Don't ask me how it happened. Um. <laughs>